because that's like the steps of Tai Chi, you know. It walks along those same steps. So first we focus on solo practice. Solo meaning within self. Yeah. So we do this routine, we learn this routine of movements mm -hmm. in that self. And then later we learn how to do a, a partner uh, routine. Mm -hmm. So now that's working with others, you know what I mean? Or a partner, so it's like two people now. And then from there we go into three and then a group. So uh, it's just so... You can be thinking something crazy. Somebody can, they can just feel your energy. They feel, yeah. They can feel your energy. Yeah. Because it's coming out in your facial expressions. It's coming out in your emo. Everything is coming out. From yeah. People, people can see aura. You're, you give it away. Like, you give yourself away all Without the time. Without even knowing it. Without even knowing <laughs> so, it. Body, the, the body language is is a serious thing. I yeah. Believe. So if you, if you implement that one little simple little thing I just said just now, imagine that everybody that you encounter, they, they can hear your thoughts. And you know you want to you want to be kind. So, <laughs> so why be kind in a cruel world? What what's the purpose of that? I mean, what what's the purpose of being kind if it's so cruel? If things are so crazy and so horrible, and people are just like assholes, or well, why be kind? It depend. I look at it like this: Are is the world cruel, and are people assholes, or is that just the world that we're in and yeah. the world that we see? You know what I mean? I agree that we have a little bit of both, yeah. but is there just like extreme, you know what I mean? Or is yeah. that just what we think it is? Yeah, maybe it's the people we're around. Exactly, maybe that's just our... our... Maybe we're assholes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because they actually say that, that you know, we kind of like attract, you know, like... Like attract like. People that's on our same, like, level, our vibration, you yeah. know what I mean? So you, you're not gonna attract somebody here you're gonna attract people who think in the light. So like you said, maybe we we're, we're assholes ourselves. <laughs> deep, deep you know shot. what I mean? Cause yeah. I always think about the people that's in my circle. I'm like, hmm, so how did I attract that asshole in my life? <laughs> you know, and I think, I look back, I'm like, boy, you were super ego at the time. So you, yeah. you attracted super ego. Mm -hmm. Wow. Seriously, I'm like, you attracted super ego. I just look at it myself. So I believe that we're like reflections of each other. The wow. people that you deal with. It's just like your reflection. And that's another way of being compassionate because I always say be kind to yourself. So if you're me, I'm going to be compassionate to myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I could, I could look at a person that, that's, for example, um, suffering from drugs because at one point in my life I had that issue as well many years ago. Before I went in the military, I was, I was on drugs. I used the military as a scapegoat to get away from that to change my life. So I can look at somebody now and I can say, that's me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I can embrace that person and understand and relate with that person because I've been there. And, and that, that kind of gives you a little bit more compassion. It goes, there we go, right it, back. It goes right back to... to right back to compassion. So it, it's, it's just basically just being real, being real, taking off the mask and just sharing your, just sharing your, opening your heart. Yeah. Just opening your heart and being real. And you'll be surprised, man. People will embrace that. But when you have one of these masks, it just don't work. You know so what I'm saying? Like we're, we're, we're masking things that we think sh makes us look bad. When in reality, the good in you is is shown when you let it, when you let the honesty, you know, come on the forefront. Exactly. Because so, because sorry to cut you off. Yeah, no. Because we we all have gifts. You know what I mean? You you have a, a super gift. Everybody here has a gift, and we should share all share those gifts. Who cares about all the other stuff? It doesn't yeah. even matter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, all the other stuff lies lies in ego. Yeah, what are we bickering about? Lies in about? shame <laughs> and fear. Yeah, what are you bickering about? There's like how many billion of us on the planet? Yeah. You know? It's billions. <laughs> yeah, how many billion? We could like work in a cohesive fashion and like really get it popping. <laughs> yeah, like we can solve all the world's problems if we if we kind of thought, let's go out and solve these problems. It, it, it doesn't doesn't go about doing like something really big it's no. like first changing self and then sparking that light you have to someone else that's funny because that's like the steps of tai chi you know it walks along those same steps so first of all we do this uh, we focus on solo practice solo meaning within self yeah. so we do this routine we learn this routine of movements mm -hmm. in that self 
And then later, we learn how to do a, a partner uh, routine. Mm -hmm. So now that's working with others, you know what I mean? Or a partner, so it's like two people now. And then from there, we go into three and then a group. So uh, it's just so uh, organic, you know, the way that it's done. It's like, hmm, there's just something to this stuff. That's why I just keep, <laughs> keep embracing it more. Right. It's, like, it's life. It's life from every simple point, you know. So I know people that are in all different types of uh, physical shapes. Uh, people that can't stand, people that can't walk, young, old. It doesn't discriminate. So I'm gonna show you a, a couple of exercises that can actually be done sitting down for those people that can't stand. And if you can stand, you can just stand up and do the same thing. So if you're standing, have your feet about shoulders width apart, okay? Sitting down, sit on the edge of your chair. Don't have your back against the back of the chair. You wanna sit up straight and have correct posture, all right? So this is a very common posture here where the arms are just like floating up in the air. And it really looks like they're like really not doing too much of anything. So everything is done like in the slow flowing coordinated fashion. And we can and the reason that it's done so slow because there's so many intricate details and the best way to learn it is when it's not rushed. That way everything can be harmonized, coordinated. So you can see I just did maybe about three or four different movements here. And nothing is done with force. Everything is um, nice and relaxed. So my chest is relaxed here. It's not, not pushed out. No force. A lot of times you see when I'm pushing hands, right? No force in Tai Chi. That's one of the, actually one of the uh, most important, I say most important principles is no force and uh, go slow. So no. Huh? The one when the arms come up here and, and go from side to side. This particular exercise actually helps harmonize or coordinate the shoulder joints with yeah. the waist. So it's going to coordinate the shoulders. So you want your shoulders to be relaxed and the waist. So when you're turning, these things are turning together, which is very important. So we want to be That's relaxation, shifting, allowing your body to shift over to the right. So it's like water which allows your uh, left foot to come up on the heel. Turn out the heel 45 degrees to the corner. But when you do that, we should be straight. Yes. Good question, by the way. You don't want to turn like this. That's what he was saying. Profile is still here. Say everything changed with time. Mm -hmm. So back when uh, the art form was actually um, supposedly created, they were in a, a warring, warring state, you know, so all the citizens basically went to war. So they needed to learn how to have hand-to-hand -hand combat and how to use a weapon. Yeah. But here we are in today's society. Society is suffering number one thing is stress. Yeah. You know, you can look at all, all of the um, paperwork documentation out there showing that people are suffering from stress. And Tai Chi, for me, is the number one, number one tool to help alleviate that because it's meditation and motion, number one. And without meditation and motion, it's not Tai Chi. You know, so you have to have the meditation and motion. Being meditation and motion, tai, tai Chi teaches you how to basically relax, so when you're on your break at work, yeah. go outside, go by the trees, be in nature, take a deep breath, enjoy it, enjoy the, the fresh air, you know, get outside as much as possible, you know, clear your mind. So people, people are suffering from stress yeah. and 
people are fighting. I said, let's get together and let's let's fight. Let's fight this uh, stress. Let's fight this, this disease. Let's yeah. fight this this cancer. You know what I mean? So my mission is basically to spread uh, Tai Chi as a meditative flow. Teach people how to use it as that. And once you, once you learn how to use it use it as that, actually, you'll be able to use it as, as all three of the other things that we mentioned before. It, it'll be all inclusive. I call it what I call. I call it the intelligent man's martial art, and man just for a um, lack of a better word, because it's certainly not gender specific, you know, just being like human, you know what I mean, but intelligent being the key factor, meaning that the art form is, is definitely not um, dependent upon like brute force. Yeah. So usually you'll see like in China or in Asia, you'll see a park full of old people doing it, and they're living for a long time, longevity. Right. That's why people need it. It's for longevity. Absolutely. It's known for longevity. It's very similar to um, Qigong and yoga, you know, breathing it. And you, you know, you practice in the proper breathing methods, you know. And the breathing is going to take you into deeper, deeper uh, meaning inside of the movements, you know. In the beginning, the movements are very basic, you know, and then they open, they open doorways to deeper and deeper understandings of not only the movements themselves, but about life in general, you know. So people, I say people who are like seeking, seeking what I call like truth seekers, who yeah. want to know what's like the essence of life, Tai Chi is a tool that can be used to help you discover like the, the essence of life. It's not the only tool. There's other tools that do, this, do the same thing. Mm -hmm. but do you think Tai Chi is like a religion? Tai Chi is certainly not a religion. Okay. You know, and that's, that's a question that comes up quite often. And um, there's numerous reasons. I, I, I would imagine why, mm -hmm. because um, Tai Chi actually, it comes from a Taoist, a Taoist society. Yeah. So when people think of Taoists, they mm -hmm. think of religion. Mm -hmm. But if you speak with a lot of Taoists, they don't see themselves as being involved in a religion. Only the ones who follow behind certain sects and deal with certain deities. Yeah. You know, but the ones who don't deal with deities. They only see Taoism as a way of life, a way of intervening with nature. Okay. So I see my uh, Tai Chi as being a way of intervening with nature and not dealing with any type of religious ceremonies and none of that, you know. Mm -hmm. some, if you go to the mountains in Wudong and you go to a temple, mm -hmm. they may certainly do Taoist traditional um, ceremonies and yeah. religious ceremonies. Yeah. And they may also practice Tai Chi Chuan. Yeah. They may, you know. Yeah. But I'm not into the religious aspect of it. Yeah, and, and you also said it's what you use it for. It's what you make exactly. use of it for. So a lot of people who study religion, they're definitely interested in studying Tai Chi Chuan because it may give them a different view, a different perspective on that, on the way that they look at their religion. Yeah. Because uh, I don't have the symbol here, but if you ever seen the yin yang symbol, right? Yeah. It that very simple symbol, it it, it basically is like the. Um, the, the guiding guiding light, the guiding philosophy for Tai Chi, you know, is, is yin yang. Mm -hmm. And everything is just based on that. It's very simple, you know. And what is yin and what is yang? It can represent so many things. Yeah. Yin being, um, let's say, negative. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be negative. And then yang being positive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just for lack of, not meaning good or bad, yeah. but it can also mean good or bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it can also mean um, yin can be female. Yeah. Yang can be male. So it's like opposite, op opposite. Yeah, basically sizes. opposite. It yeah. could be day and night. Yeah. You know, people say day is uh, when the sun is out, it's hot. Yeah. So hot could be yang. Mm. You know what I mean? Yin could be cold. Day can be uh, yang. Yin can be night. So, so many things. But that same principle comes into the, into the uh, Tai Chi Chuan, the martial art. So basically the way that it works, let's say if, if, if a physical hard force is coming, we don't want to go in um, head, head to head with that, with that force. Yeah. So we want to be yielding and soft and move, and move, move that force out of the way oppose and it. let it keep going. Yeah, we don't want to oppose the we force. We don't want to oppose it. Yeah, we don't want to be in opposition. We redirect the energy. Exactly, yield. So we don't, we, we don't want to be in opposition, mm -hmm. like even in life, you know what I mean? We always say no enemy, no conflict, you yeah. know? And then you, you just bring that into, into everyday life. Finding out about me. Tai Chi has, Tai Chi falls under another umbrella, yeah. all right? We have what we call internal yeah. and external. Mm -hmm. 
martial arts, all right? And people differentiate into two systems, internal and external. And I'll give you a, a quick synopsis as to what people kind of see them as being. So internal being, like I said, using the soft way to deal with force, yeah. not requiring big muscles, not requiring being fast, you know what I mean? You can be the little old grandmother yeah. and still deal with a situation because you know how to use softness. Okay. All right. Then you deal with external. External is dealing with guys who they're still strong. They're maybe 20 years old. Yeah. Got big muscles. They're fast. They can run. So they're dependent on the strength. On oh. their on their strength. Has those type of attributes. Yeah. And they have a different set of attributes completely. So you have internal and external. So Tai Chi falls under the internal arena, which I love because I like teaching what we call the so-called weak. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, women and children, excellent for them. Most women are known for being like physically robust. You know what I mean? They're known for being more feminine. Yeah. So Tai Chi works great for them. So I'm doing like uh, women's self-defense courses, you know, doing that a lot and having the, having the children come in with them and, and, and sharing it with the family, showing them how they can use Tai Chi to help them out in self-defense situations if they need to run away from a situation. Not how to fight. It's yeah. not about fighting. Yeah. Self-defense is not about fighting, first of all. It's not like going in the octagon or something like that mm -hmm. and squaring up fighting. Mm -hmm. That's not the intention. The intention is if someone tries to snatch your computer bag out of your hand and put a knife on you, how do you deal with that? You know, in the mo most logical fashion without like just being a victim. Most of the students who are coming to me now they're asking me more things that are more internal, internally related. Yeah. And as opposed to being like externally related. When I say external, like I said, about fighting. So these people who are coming to me now, they want to know about how, how their body functions. You know, I mentioned I was in the military yeah. and I was in the military for 13 years, right? So I learned a lot about the human body and how the human body functions because I, I served as a uh, surgical first assistant. So basically I'm in there working with organs. I'm in the operating room. Handling, handling like body parts. Yeah. So they want to know how the body functions. So I, I help them understand how the body functions, and and they want to know more about movement because it's really about movement. How how do how does my body move properly and efficiently? No matter what you're doing, that's what really the Tai Chi is about. You know, it's excellent for our senior citizens right here in Florida. Right. Number one thing with them. Yeah. We're talking about slip and fall, slip and fall prevention. Tai Chi is known for helping people get excellent balance. So our seniors can benefit. I teach a lot of seniors right here in yeah. Boca, actually. Yeah, some of these uh, nursing homes I teach there. And I'm seeing from phenomenal gains. Some people that couldn't stand up, they're able to stand up now. They're able to start walking, taking baby steps. So it, it gradually progresses. And now they're able to move their hands around and do stuff, you know, and it just grows from there. Wow. So there it is again, another benefit, slip and fall prevention. And that's a big one. You take it for granted when you're 20. Yeah. <laughs> but when you look at our seniors and they slip and fall and break a hip, because mm -hmm. once they break a hip, it's a hard recovery, and a lot of them never recover. They just go downhill from there. So I'm amped up about helping them. Wow. I love it. The one thing that I um, like to offer to everyone is a, pe a peace of mind and the right way to go about doing that. Just find, just find throughout your day times where you can just like just get away from the busy world when you feel stressed take a few deep breaths and just let everything dissolve and go away um, because like we talked about earlier stress is uh, our number one killer and people don't realize it until it's too late before they know it it's become a uh, chronic stress and then they need medication and stuff like that to deal with it so take some time out your busy day take some take some breaths and uh, enjoy your day and Eat healthy, eat healthy, because health is well. And that's really all I have to share. Thank you. You're very well. Health is well. Health is well. Thank you for tuning in to the Unlimited Power Show, where we shine light on your unlimited capability to achieve greatness. I want you to know that you have the unlimited power in you to achieve whatever it is that you want. But until you believe that, the world will forever miss your talents, your gifts and all the great things that you have to offer. So thank you for tuning in. My name is Edouard Gilles, and be sure to like, share, subscribe, and be great. Remember, let your light shine, don't hide it, don't dim it.
Thank you.